Today's guest is a singer, dancer, and actress who has worked in TV and light entertainment shows. Also in the original pop band Tight Fit in the 1980s. And still performing with them today. Chatting with Nigel Clarkson, it's Julie Harris. Hello, Julie. Hi. Hiya. How are you? I'm all right. I'm nice and bright and dandy today. Um, are you feeling okay? Yeah, all good, thank you. Yeah, really good. Excellent. So much to ask you about because you've got a new song out and everything and it's all rocking and rolling at the moment, isn't it? I, I mean, what do you think of the song? I love it. I love it. I tell you, I, it's like punchy. It's got a great bass line to it and I do like it. Very modern. I, I love it. It's actually one of my favourites at the moment, I have to say, of ours. I, I really, really like it. It gets me dancing and up and, and it makes me smile. Yeah, I like it. that's what we want. So Absolutely. let's go back. Let's turn back the clock a little bit, if you don't mind. Go back to 80s, the early 80s in 82 when it all started for Type Fit, didn't it? Yeah, yeah how it did. did. How did you get in the band in the first place then? How did that come about? So I had an agent and literally used to do auditions every day, really, because there was so much, so much going on in those days. I was, I was in, um, I was in the dance group on Top of the Pops at the time yeah. and we met loads of very influential people and, um, literally auditioned. It took about three days of auditioning and Denise, Steve and myself got the part. What were you doing on Top of the Pops? Were you one of the dancers then? I was. Wow. I was in a group called Zoo. Do you remember Zoo? Yeah, I do, yeah. And that's yeah. why I thought your face is really familiar, and that'll be what it is because everybody's watching Top of the Pops, of course. Everybody did that on a Thursday night. Absolutely. I should write a book about Zoo because we had some amazing times. You can imagine meeting all those famous people. Yeah, fantastic. And an after drinks party as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a book and a half, that would, wouldn't it? Oh, great. <laughs> Good, it would, I suppose. So anyway, you got into tight fit then. So yeah. was that a little bit of a shift for you then? So did you leave Top of the Pops to do that? Well, previous to Top of the Pops, I was in a group called Lips and um, we toured most of the world. It was a duo, myself and Jilly, Jilly Cooper, her name was. Yeah. And we revision and came second, actually, wow. um, in 79. So the zoo thing was a bit of a sidetrack at the time, but I couldn't resist to say, you know, I want to do it. So... Yeah. But I was always auditioning for singing. I always preferred singing, to be honest, than dancing. Right. So that's why I, I uh, auditioned for Type Fit. Yeah, it was a bit of a roller coaster when you got onto Type Fit as well. It, it happened so fast, didn't it? You were catapulted. Oh, I know. It was literally in the studio, recorded an album in like three weeks, and then number one. Yeah, that epic song. I mean, it's still an epic song today, isn't it? It's just one of those songs, isn't it, there? Yeah. Everyone knows The Lion Sleeps Tonight. It's great. I mean... It is a great song. Um, it's, it's, it was the second release, wasn't it? So yeah, they had a hit in the seventies with it, didn't they? Previous yeah. back, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. So uh, everyone knows it, and, and the and the Lion King has helped as well. Yeah, of course it did. Yeah, brilliant. And then you had Fantasy Island that came out after that. I mean, you were like rolling them out every three months, really, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I loved Fantasy Island. Yeah, it was really good. We went we went and did a video, and that was fun. Yeah. So what happened then? Because it all seemed to like break up, didn't it? You all went your separate ways all of a sudden. Thanks to the record company, actually. Thanks to the record company. They were very harsh and it was all to do with money. Um, yeah. and signing up for another year. And the girls, myself and Denise, um, we didn't want, we didn't like what they were saying. So we said no. So they said, okay, bye bye. And they replaced us with two new girls who mind to our voices. Crazy. Did you have the rights to the name then, type, type fit? Did, you know. I think the record company did, but then we, when the record company closed, we bought the name. So we own that name now. Good move. I know Books Fizz had the same sort of problem, didn't they? And they yeah. couldn't keep Books Fizz and some lady kept it and wouldn't let it go. Yeah. Crazy. Bit of a strange one, that. Well, you did yeah. good there. You did well there keeping the name because that's the yeah. brand, isn't it, all day long? Yeah, I love the name as well. So what did you do then? When Type Fit, you know, you, you went your separate ways, what did you do? Because it was a spell all the way up to like 2008 before you came back into Type Fit. Is that right? I, I got a band together called Go Indigo and um, I had the best time. I'm still really, really close to them now and I still do the occasional gig with them as well. Um, yeah, six piece it was, and it was me and another guy called Dave David and um, five five musicians. Right, going on tour everywhere then? Did you with the band? Yeah, 
did. We did. We did a lot in England. Most of the guys were from up north, so we did an awful lot of um, singing up north. And we were with about four different agents, so we we got you know put everywhere really. Yeah. And great time. Really enjoyed it. So you'll know up here then in Lytham Saint Anne's. You'll be familiar with it, will you? Yes. Blackpool, just around the corner. Yeah, I love. <laughs> <laughs> it's changed a lot, hasn't it, really? As a lot of the seaside resorts have changed, though, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, the, since Tight Fit got back together, we've been doing a lot of 80s rewind shows, and we get to see a lot of places up north, you know. Um, in fact, we're going in two weeks to Halifax to do a show. Brilliant. That'll be fun. Be, be nice. there, yeah. Oh, it's lovely. It, I mean, up north is lovely anyway, but, yeah, so we do, we do get around. Yeah, yeah good. So you came back together again in 2008, did you? Was it like just like, um, you know, full commitment then, or was it just like you got together every so often for a gig or whatever? In actual fact, um, Steve and I were, we didn't really speak for a while um, because obviously he was still in the band when we got replaced. Yeah. And Denise stayed friends with him but uh i i, I kind of did my own thing and, and then denise got us back together just for an evening to get to sort of get to see each other again and it was yeah. loved him to bits he's always been a legend and so it was so lovely to get back together and we all said come on let's do it again and we said okay let's do yeah. it again and did he whip out his loincloth when he said when you said that did he just like <laughs> here we go we're off it oh here we go let's go he's still as fit as anything isn't he he's yeah still... incredible well, you all are you're all looking so great i was going to say what's the secret to looking fantastic i'm an old lady now well no you don't look an old lady thank i'm you. an old man <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah, no, we, we we all get on so well. They're like brother and sister to me, to be honest. I've known them since I was 20, so, you know, yeah. it's a long time. It's a strange one, that, isn't it? I always find that people that you know when you were like, you know, 40 or 50 years ago, I mean, some people I keep in contact with from school, and they seem to mean more to you, don't they, the people that you know all those years ago? Absolutely. Totally true. I do. I still see my school friends as well. So, um, yeah, I agree. Totally. It's lovely. Yeah. So it's all been... Uh, like I say, singing and dancing, hasn't it? Since 2021, when you got joined Energize Records, yeah. is that because of the pandemic that it all came together, really? Yeah, it did. And um, I think um, Gary's such a lovely man, such a such a sweetheart. He 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 treats us so well, and he's looked after us. So we decided to go with it and give it a go again. You know, you never know, do you? So, and no. I think a lot of the tracks on the album, I'm really happy with actually. Yeah, really. they've been brilliant. Yeah, they've been some oh. great songs you've been bringing out. Um, I've, I've kept in touch with the band since you, you know, you got back together again, and I've, I've chatted to Steve a couple of times and Denise, and uh, full of energy about it all. It's brilliant. Like, yeah, they, they're they're very good on social media. I don't do social media, so right. that's probably why we've never spoken. It's probably a good thing that you don't, because it's a mess, isn't it? Half the time, waste so much time on it. I can't bear it. I got so bullied, like, way back, and I just thought, no, I can't do this anymore. So I don't need to, because Denise and Steve do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So you got the new song out then, and it's going yep. really well, Own the Universe. Um, yeah. And how's it going down with everybody? Have you been finding out a bit of feedback about it? Yeah, I have, actually, because obviously we're in the Heritage Charts, number 13. Mm. Um, um, I speak to lots of friends and family about it to get them to vote, and they all say they absolutely love the track and they put it on most days. So that's yeah, really great. I was listening to it this morning. I was doing the washing up. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it puts me in a good mood. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a really good track. I love it. Yeah, so what's the plan for the rest of the year then? Are you, do, do you plan things out? Do they just sort of happen as they happen? Do you just go like lucky-go-lucky, lucky, really? That's kind of really only happen, but obviously the album's been planned and that will be coming out a couple of months now. It's all going to come out on an album. So we'll do a big party for the album release and, yeah, um, yeah we will do that in London and uh, see how it goes, I guess. Yeah, we'll is see. Come, is it everybody from the record label come to these parties? Oh, gosh, yes, yes, and special invites as well. So I'll make sure you're invited. I was going to say, I've never had one yet. <laughs> I'll invite you. Right, we'll come down to London. Um, so, yeah, we, we usually ask our guests three questions. Are you in for that? Three questions. Now, they're not, not tricky questions. No problem. But, but it's the same three questions for every guest. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, so, 
So we get a good like feeling, and all people that listen to the podcast, because we've got a lot of listeners in America now as well as the UK, because we've been getting artists from America that have joined us, and it's getting quite fun, really, because some of the cars and stuff that we mentioned, they think, never heard of that car, and I don't know what their cars are, really, to be honest with you. But we've got three questions. Um, The first question, who's your favourite artist of all time? Oh, wow. I mean, it's a toughie, isn't it, just off the top of your head? Kenny Houston. Oh, yeah, one of my favourites, too. In the world. Yeah, sadly, Miss. I mean, I, I often think what she'd be doing right now, you know, if she uh, hadn't left yeah. us. Yeah, I loved her to bits. I love her music. I'm into sort of soul and Motown sort of music, so she ticked all the boxes for me. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, I'll get, I'm with you, that, Whitney Houston. Uh, question number two, do you drive? I do. Yeah, what's your favourite car? My Mini. Mini? Yeah. What, what type is it? It's a Clubman, because I've got children and dogs. It's the perfect car. And do you know what? Touch wood, I love it. And do you know, it's a really weird thing. I talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I swear at mine. <laughs> I say, good morning. <laughs> well, mine's a naughty car. If I'm going to get rid of it. I told it yesterday. It keeps bringing up little errors and like the sensors, you know. What car is it? It's an RCZ. Oh, okay. And um, they only made them for five years, and no wonder, because it's just spring up loads of errors. And I thought, oh, why one? I got one of the last ones in production. And I thought, yeah, it's the newest one, you, you know, the, you could get, really, the youngest one anyway. Um, oh, probably a mistake. But anyway, we carry on. So, right, okay. we'll go with Mini. That's great. Um, and finally, what's your favourite go-to snack? I mean, is it a healthy snack or is it a little bit of a ooh, naughty snack? Naughty, naughty, naughty snacks. I'm a savoury girl and I like crisps. Oh, I love crisps. Oh, I, can't, I can't go I, a day without them. I, know, I can't live without them. No. Any, any particular flavour? Yeah. Pardon? Cheese and onion. Oh, cheese and onion. The trouble is with those, though, I mean, if you've got any friends coming around and you've had a bag of cheese and onion, <laughs> you can still smell, smell it in the air for about half an hour. <laughs> It's so true. I know. I can't resist them. Anyway, I'm going to wish you all the very best for everything that's coming up. Um, I love the song, you know, and what we'll do, we'll link up to it so everybody on the podcast can listen to it as well. Um, And we'll get you on uh, all socials as well because it it goes really well. Uh, You keep in touch with us as well, won't you? Don't forget that invite. I will, I will. Honestly, Stephen, Denise and I will invite you. Brilliant. You'll leave that to Denise to sort it out. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Julie. Yeah, you're welcome. It's lovely to talk to you. Yeah, you take care. All the best for the future. Keep rocking and rolling as well, won't you? Thanks for your help. All right. Thanks, Julie. Hey. Bye. Hello. Thank you for joining us and sharing in the untold stories of the stars. In the world of showbiz, there's always another story waiting to be told. See you next time. Show this podcast. It's your entertainment thing.